Right, hello and back to part 8 of the F1 2017 career mode. Did not load it yesterday, don't judge it. Anyway, I need to fucking fix my lead. Ah, there we go, it's charging. Anyway though, in that Tebaku, I mean, this is another good chance for us to score some points. I mean, it's not the strongest circuit for us, obviously, but it can be chaotic. And as you can see, here we are, moving on the qualifying. But basically, I just skipped through practice and all, because this track this year, I don't know, nothing working. Look at that, fucking straight into the wall. Bang, bang, good night. Absolute piss. Here's a replay. Took it too quick. Smash, good night. But hopefully, if it's a chaotic race, we can win. I'm only really joking though, but toasty of our. We need toasty podium with day, like, but as you can see in qualifying, we were pish. Here we go with the agent shit. 18th. Well, we could do that. Anyway, here's the starting grid. Fettel, Hamilton. Basically, the usual gimmick you get for you this year. <laughs> then it's bought. Lance Stroll though, who actually got second, well he got fourth, but he's been moved up to second in today's Grand Prix, dying qualifying, I mean it was my best qualifying of the year I'd say, anyway, Verstappen has a penalty, just like in, <laughs> in Italy, Monza, and uh, any other penalties going to benefit me, no, 12.7 off the pace, pish, but here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4 red lights, 5 red lights, and away we go man, uh, no surprise that I me and Alonso have secured the back row with that this the, the long straights. I mean it does have the chassis bit and we almost take out the rear wing of one of the cybers there, but we've got Carlos signs ahead of us and we're just no really in the battle here. We'll launch it. I mean we'll try and make as many positions up at the start as we can here. But moving on to the tightest corner on the whole track and our circuit calendar and I Palmer's smashed into the wall and he's took us out as well, so that's a bit shite. Someone's went down the escape road, don't know what they're doing. Surely we're all going to get disqualified here. Stopped on track, no looking good. There's a car to smash. Is that Alonso? I don't know who that is. And we've lost our entire front wing. And the full safety car has been deployed. Three drivers have been disqualified. That's up us up to 15, so we're going to have to put uh, a new front wing on. Alonso having to change his wing and all. We're going to put a set of the softs on so that's us made our pit stop so that means our next one can be straight to super softs again. So I guess, yeah, but if we make it that far of our pace being so pissed, you know what I mean. But here we go on the restart, lap 4. Ocon. It's going to be pretty hard to get past him. We're going to launch it. And we get Furline. Could we get Perez? No, Perez is just a wee bit too far ahead. But as you can see, look how worn the engine was. I mean... We're, we're not even going to get through the bloody race at this point. Although, as you can see, we just put it again after we lock, and I've hit the wall, and that's our site of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Pesh. As you can see though, there is the um, the results for Q1, 20th, no the best, like it was proper pish, but I mean what what what, what can you do like when you, once you crash out, I mean you can't improve shit can you, anyway though it's a Ferrari uh, front row lockout, then it's in both Mercedes, then one Stroll who's doing pretty well in this game, he did pretty well in Monza earlier today, like I said earlier, well something. A uh, pretty generic grid. I mean, you wouldn't expect Ocon to be that low down, like, but he is. Big Fernando, nah, he's, nah, he's fucking outdid me. Like, let's be, let's be perfectly honest here. But anyway, one light, two light, three light, four light, five light, two light, and here we go. 
Can we get some moves done? We have a report. No didn't expect it. No didn't expect that. No didn't expect that. All right, man. Calm it down. We launch it down the inside of the two cybers at Alonso. I mean, that's going to be really our only competitors this Grand Prix as per Pish. Got in trying. Oh, but there's been. We've damaged the bit of our wing. Or it, well, engine's fucked already, and we're in the wall. And that is us out of the Austrian Grand Prix. Jesus Christ. Two pish weekends in a row. And there were the results there. Holy dog shit on a plate. That was shocking. But maybe some good news, we've got a wee R&D update. So let's see what the crack is, man. Big Dave giving us the lowdown, what's happening? Get to work. Alright, big man, relax you, ya nugget. As you can see, we're... Man, we're doing no bad. We're doing no bad, man. Definitely, we've pulled away from Cyber a bit, but we catching... We could be catching Haas, I don't know, maybe that count is catching Haas. Hopefully, though, in uh, Silverstone, we can get ourselves back up. Next track that will really help us is Hungary, as it's a chassis cir circuit. But as you can see, vehicle performance, we're getting closer to Haas, but we're still right beside fucking Cyber. And, I mean, Red Bull are definitely closing in the top two, but we're going to have to switch our engines out. But anyway, this will do it for this video. Until next time, peace.